Good morning, everyone. Today I'm going to scrapbook Brenna and Tegan, their dad, his fiance, and Brenna's friend. And they were in one of those escape rooms. And so um, I'm scrapbooking that. I'm going to be using Mente's Steampunk. And that's just a, um, it's a six by eight pad. Or in this case, I think it went, or is, I don't know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Well, it's six by eight or eight by six. Well, anyhow, I've already started. I put this mat on here because there's going to be a little bit of color, and so I thought it'd be nice to bring that in. In some of my in the embellishments, there's going to be a little bit of color, and I'm but I'm going to antique around it because I I'm doing this um, steampunk thing, and I want everything to kind of coordinate. So I'm going to bring a little bit of vintage photo because it's kind of that rusty red color. And um, this is my second time starting this, so if I told you this already, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but anyhow, they um, I don't know how much they paid to get into the place to do this, but um, they were out in less than 10 minutes. So, <laughs> and there was five of them. So I don't know if they had to pay by person or if it's like, you know, so many people in the party or, and everybody gets in who's in that party or whatever. But um, I thought, boy, they probably didn't get their money's worth of playing when they were out in 10 minutes. I'm sure it was fun while well, it lasted. <laughs> That's what I wonder. Um, I'm thinking, what is the record if they got out that fast? Okay, so I'm going to put this Oh, and I'm hoping it's dry. Okay, I think I want it I think I figured I need about five. Oh, this paper I'm using is, I think it's Craft Consortium. Okay, and I think this is about an inch from the side. So that's what I'm gonna go with. And up about five. I don't know if that's high enough or not. I'm gonna put it there for a minute and just check to see where my first embellishment is. No, that needs to go up higher. I need to start marking. Okay, let me try an inch and a quarter. Because she's almost to the top, okay. Oh, maybe she was more at five. Uh, you know, I got my cheat picture here. <laughs> it's a good thing. Okay, I think it probably is at five because that's what I had guesstimated before. Okay. So I'm going to have that there. And then I have this girl. Um, it's so funny because the the um the cut aparts there was four different girls and i think there was three different guys so it's like this worked out perfect i mean i got my i got four girls here and then i've got one guy to represent their dad so I that would be fun and i've already put some chipboard on on this and i'm going to be putting one of these light bulbs here and then putting her over it so I need to figure out where that's going to be and actually that looks perfect right there so I'm going to remember it's right by that one two third line okay so I'm going to put that there And then I have another one that I'm going to overlap that with. 
I just love steampunk stuff. It's, I'm thinking this is like so much fun to play with. Okay, so I'm gonna put that just maybe down, down a little more or up a little more. I think I'm gonna put it down a little more. Okay, and then I've got this girl and um, I'm sure the girls will get these and they'll say, oh, that's me, that's me, whoever, whichever girl they like the best. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I would be thinking. <laughs> but I think this is going to be so cute. And so I'm just putting this girl here. I have to say, she kind of reminded me of Tegan. <laughs> okay. And then I have, let's see, over here, oh, I think I'll put the letters next. Okay, and I'm just gonna call it Escape. And I put these up on chips, on chipboard too. And I got these from Maureen. And when I put them aside, I thought, oh, they would go really good with that layout I'm going to do. So I am using them. Yes, I got to make sure I got it. Looks like it goes that way. And there is writing on it, but do you think I can see that? Uh, I think it looks like it goes this way. Yes, it does. Okay. I thought I was looking at something that was almost invisible, but then all of a sudden I seen it. <laughs> and I actually tried out two of the different letters she sent me, but these were my fave. I just think they they look like the brick, they look like all the colors, it's just perfect. So maybe I, I um, you know, I've been cutting out these parts, but I just didn't have them all cut out yet, so I hadn't been able to scrap it. And I wouldn't have had these cool letters if I would have done it, if I'd have got it done sooner. These are so perfect. Oh, I wanted to use like everything in the in the die well they're not die cuts because I had to cut them but I wanted to use everything I mean it was just so everything's so cool okay I'm just gonna go around this so it's not all white in the center and since I didn't want to you know antique all that around her I, I'm not gonna do it around the edges of these things Okay, and now I've got to decide if it looks like there's a top and a bottom, and I cannot decide. Oh, but now I see that it might go a certain way because I see that this is the front of the book, so it must go like this. Okay, so I'm going to stick this up close to the corner. Okay. I'm going to see my other parts here. Okay, and then I've got two more girls that I'm going to put up in this corner. Because I'm trying to represent all the characters. I want to say all the cast. <laughs> I think it's so cute. So maybe her about there. I'm going to tuck that underneath that letter a little bit. And this one I have on chipboard. So did I tape the other one or did I glue it? OK, 
Okay, so this one I'm gonna just overlap this other girl. They're all such beautiful art. Okay, and then I have this butterfly. And now usually I pop them up. Do I wanna do that today or lay it flat? I think I'm gonna go ahead and pop it up. So I'm gonna grab my dimensionals. I just can't hardly deal with the butterfly unless it popped up, I guess. <laughs> okay. It's already off. Wow, that's a record. <laughs> Usually it takes me so long to get the bags off. Okay. So I'm, I did glue it in the on the body, and then I'm gonna put that down first, and I want them to look kind of like they're gonna overlap. And once I know that's glued down, and it's all right for that part to glue down. And then I have the, I don't know, flying goggles. I guess that's what you'd call them. And maybe I'll put dimensionals on these too. Let's see, I think I got bigger ones that would work better for the shape of those. A little bit bigger. And these, I'm just going to let them overlap her, even though she's got goggles already on. Okay. And then for my next piece, okay, I've got like, it looks like a bolt door. I just thought that would be so perfect. up with the brick. Okay, and then um, they had to get there, so I'm sure they had a car, so I'm going to use this car. And I put um, some chipboard on this, but it's pretty thin. except for right there where I got overlapping. Well, it looks like I've got it glued there, so I'm just gonna put more glue on it. Okay. And I'm just gonna put it right here like they pulled right up to the bolt door. Or maybe this is where the getaway guy is. Okay. And then I have This character that will play her dad, <laughs> their dad. <laughs> oh, I think I'm gluing and taping and taping and gluing. But I'm gonna put more on because it didn't get any more on this, some of these parts, okay. Oh, and I can't even put that one down yet because I'm gonna have that one overlap this one. where this is going to go. I want him clear up to the top or almost maybe just barely touching the picture and then I'm going to put her right here kind of overlapping the door. Okay 
And then I've got a steampunk pocket watch and hat and another volt door. And let's see here. Again, I'm going to be overlapping everything. So I'm just going to overlap the pocket watch with the hat. And this does have a top or a bottom because it actually says something down here. I'm not sure what it says, but it looks like the letters go this way, I think. Okay, so I'm going to just tuck this under here just a little bit. And that's it. It is done. I love it. It's so fun. It's so fun to play with, I have to tell you. So thank you for joining me. I will have close-ups at the end. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful and blessed day.